Here is how to use the background section element found in Drive Architect. So I have this landing page on which I already have a background section element. Now I will be showing you some of the available features on this predefined template, but later on I'll also add a new blank element to my content to see how it can be customized from zero. So let's have a look at the options we can use here. Now from this first section you can save the currently existing template or if you want you can load an already existing one. I don't have one saved at the moment, so what I'm gonna do is save the one that I'm gonna be customizing from zero and then use it later on on other landing pages and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. But before that, let's have a quick look at the more general options available for the element. So here we have several adjustments we can go through. And the first one is inherit width from the landing page. Now, if this option is active, then you will not be able to change the width of the background section as this will be inherited from the landing page that you are using. However, if you deactivate it, you will get two more options here. So you can use the content maximum width slider to adjust the width, or you can simply use this option to cover the entire screen width with your content. Now, another thing you can do here is to use the section minimum height slider. And this basically allows you to adjust the height of the section. And if you want similar to the previously shown option, you can use this toggle to match the height to the screen. And the last options here will allow you to customize the vertical alignment of the content. So if you want, you can align the content within your background section and you can choose to align it to the top, center or bottom. And this would be a quick overview of the main options. But now we're going to jump right to the background style options and see what other changes we can bring to the already existing layout. Now this basically allows you to add layers to your background section. So you can either add a solid color layer, an image, gradients, patterns and effects. This is entirely up to you. My template already has a solid layer added to it, which I can remove if I want from this trash icon. But I'm going to leave it as it is and show you what you can do with it. So you can, for example, pick a different color than the currently existing one. You can choose one from the saved theme colors or simply unlink from the theme color and pick a different shade using the color picker. Now let's load a new layer and see what happens. I find that an image would overcrowd the template too much, so I'm gonna use a pattern instead, and I'm gonna go with this one, which is a dotted pattern. Finally, let's see how to load a video and use it with the background section element. Before that, what I'm gonna do is dim the opacity of my solid color because otherwise the video would not show through. So to do that, I'm gonna open the solid color layer by clicking on it and then lower the opacity to, let's say, 50%. Now I'm gonna click on apply and return to this set of options. So what I need to do in order to load a video is to first activate the toggle next to video background and then pick a source. In this case, I'm gonna be using a YouTube video, so I'm gonna select this as my source and simply paste here the URL. Now hit enter. And you can see that I've just added this cool effect to my background section element, which is in fact just a pastel wheel color video that shows through the already added layers of my background section. Now let's move on to the decorations options real quick. And you can see that I have here a fancy divider added to the bottom part of my background section element. Now there are various options you can use here, but what I'm gonna do is simply change the style of the fancy divider by opening this library and picking another template. And I'm gonna go with this one. You can also change the color if you want from here. Currently it's white, I'm gonna leave it as it is, but this is something to keep in mind if you want to customize this even more. So this would be a really useful set of options that can help you build more creative looking layouts. Now let me show you how to customize a background section from scratch. So to do that, I'm gonna open the right sidebar list of elements and simply drag and drop the element to my content. Now I'm also gonna be adding some text to it. Now I'm gonna center it a bit, maybe make this one slightly bigger. So I'm gonna go for this heading and maybe make this text a bold one. So now I have my background section and some text added to it and I can proceed with customizing it so that it matches the overall aspect of my landing page. So let me just select the background section from the breadcrumbs to make sure I'm editing the right element. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a decoration to the bottom part of my background section. 
Let's go once more for the fancy divider. Choose an interesting layout. Let's go with this one. And since the color is set by default to white, it's not going to be visible from the beginning. So what I'm going to do is open this color field and pick something similar to the already existing colors from my page. Now this would be a nice neutral shade. So I can click on apply. And another thing that I want to do here is to bring up the background section from here to overlap with the background section that I have at the top of my page. And to do that, I'm going to have to go to the layout and position options and decrease the margins like so. Now, just as I've mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can create background section templates that you can save and use on other pages throughout your website. So that was the first option available here in the left sidebar. So simply click on this save as global style icon, give your new template a name and click on apply. Now you should be able to use this template on another page and I'm going to show you how to do just that. But first, let's save and preview the work to see how it would look like on the front end. So here's the first background section that we've customized along with the second one. Now let's open a new page and load this saved template. So this is the page on which I want to show you how you can load the previously saved template. So to do that, I'm just going to open the right sidebar list of elements and of course drag and drop the background section element onto my content. And now the only thing left to do is to load the template from the template library. And that's pretty much it. Now you know how to use the background section element along with other options from Thrive Architect to create visually appealing layouts on your website. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Make sure to also check out other tutorials of this type available in our knowledge base. And as always, check out the article available for this video if you want to read more detailed information about how to use this element.